Can I write off business expenses on my personal taxes? Yeah, the answer is most likely. We're gonna go through and we'll talk about it. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we know that if we have a clear plan, anything becomes possible. And if you can have a clear plan, a clear process to create that plan, and a way to create clarity with your partner, your spouse, you can drive to amazing heights. All right, so I started my first of 16 companies when I was 19. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people with businesses across the world. And, and people are always looking at what is the relationship and what are the opportunities for me to write off some of those expenses on my personal taxes. All right, so caveat being, I am not an attorney, I am not an accountant. I would recommend that you talk to them and we actually talk a lot in the book about how to find great small business accountants and small business attorneys um, for free that can help advise you on these things. But we're gonna talk conceptually high level what the general rules of thumb are with this. So long story short is that yes you can, but a lot of it comes down to the structure and how you wanna do that. So if you are a sole proprietor, sole proprietor means that you and the business are one, I'm gonna avoid, I'm gonna encourage you to avoid doing that, but, and I'll tell you why, but, the, but the, the specific taxes then can actually be written off specifically within from your personal tax return. Now, most often, people are doing some sort of corporate structure or entity. It sounds uptight and hoity-toity and all that, but it really isn't. You can get an LLC, a limited liability company, or a subchapter S, a small uh, corporation. They're both companies, they're both corporations. And when you do this, the, uh, the feds actually will give you what's called an employer identification number. And this in essence is like the new social security number for this entity. You can control the entity, you can be a single person, you can have partners, whatever it is. But within that entity then, traditionally the expenses in that entity are going to be business expenses. And you do the accounting within that. And that's actually where you're going to see the benefits of writing things off. Traditionally for an LLC or a subchapter S, the, it's called flow through, whatever the profit. So, so if you have revenue, money we bring in, our expenses, money that goes out, the, person, or the business expenses, that whatever was legally and legitimately allowed, it's all good. Then you can write that off. And then at the end, that entity maybe made some money, maybe lost some money, maybe gave you a, a monthly paycheck, and then on top of it had some, some revenue at the end, or maybe it had a loss. But whatever that net net works out to, you're gonna get what's traditionally called a K-1, but it'll issue, uh, it'll issue you a, a document that basically says, hey, this is what, this is what happened this year, and this is the, the short accounting on this. And then you take that, and that goes into your personal accounting. So then you say, yes, this was my income, and then my entity made or lost money, and, and that's, that's where you end up deciding what you pay on your taxes. So uh, it, it sounds complicated, but it really isn't that complicated. Just imagine that you're creating a separate entity, and within that entity, you get to write things off. Now, let's talk about that. There's certain gray area things. I've helped people buy and sell dozens and dozens of businesses. And the general rule of thumb is the less you write off, the cleaner your books are, the easier it is to justify what the profit is. Because you're going to have more profit in there. And if you wind up wanting to sell that business, you're going to want to show as much clean profit as you can. But let's be honest, most of us um, with the IRS and small business, it isn't necessarily a positive relationship. If I have the opportunity to take uh, advantage of loopholes or things that are there legally, I, I don't ever want to do things that are illegal and I would never ever recommend it. But if there's gray areas in there, then I, I'm okay sometimes writing those things off. Uh, it depends on which one of the LLCs or the uh, companies that I have. I've got multiple companies. But the idea is sometimes those gray areas are, well, you, you, you don't ever want to go into the black. You don't, if it's black and white, just stay, just keep it clean. And this is really important. A, a mentor of mine told me a long time ago, I was working on a, on a pro forma a, a projections, and I was getting really technical and really deep and trying to manipulate things as tight as I could to make money. He's like, look, 
If you can't just step back and make the government a partner and understand that the government's going to take their take, that's the way it is. If you can't create a business where you can't afford to pay that, then it's probably not a good business and you should look for another one. Don't get discouraged by that. Just keep looking until you can find one that's like, yeah, it's a no-brainer. I can make this, I can pay my taxes, and everything's going to be fine. Now, I personally write a fair amount of my travel off because most of the travel I do is related to my business. Um, there are certain things that you can do. Um, sometimes people write off um, part of their home office and they write off part of their mortgage. There, there's, there's also going to be ramifications. You're going to have to be aware of those things. And this is where having a great accountant is going to help you. But you can write off so much from your house at a certain cost, no problem. But if you are paying yourself or you're writing off some of it as an expense, there's, there's going to be pros and cons on all of those. So you really need to be aware of what those, those are. Now, when you have a personal vehicle, but if you're using it for business expense, there's a certain amount, well, maybe it's a percentage. Maybe you're using certain gas points. Maybe you let the company pay for all the gas, but that may actually end up being a, a benefit to you that you have to pay a little extra tax on. So they're, they're going to get it. That's, that's the way it is, and there's what another they just authorized like, you know, another 100,000 IRS agents to, to come out. And a lot of times they're looking for the small business people. So, so with this, if it, if, I don't like paying taxes, nobody does, but I don't mind it because it's part of the game and, and we get a lot out of it. I, I think we get, there's, we don't get nearly what we should out of it, but that's a whole different story. But the, the point is, is it, can you write off expenses? Absolutely. But there's certain structures and ways that you need to. And the best way to do that is to find a great small business accountant to start with and say, hey, look, this is my business. Do you have anybody else that, that you work with that's sort of like mine? Because when they do, they're already going to have different experiences in there. And again, we, we talk about this in the, in the book and in the courses on how to interview and find those people who are going to have share similar risk tolerance, share uh, values. And, and finding those right people. But when you do, boy, it makes it easy. And, and if you're trying to hide stuff, but that's the big, 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 big thing, just to put that a pin in that. The general rule of thumb, if you're not sure, you can write it off. Worst to worst, you might get pinched for it and have to pay a fine down the road. But don't ever hide it. If you hide it and you're hiding it on the books from the government, man, that's, what, that's why you, people wear orange jumpsuits and get those bracelets. If you hide it and you, that's the only way you can make your business go and you might get pinched for it, it's not going to be healthy. So ideally you found some value with this. Um, please feel free to check out some of the other videos, like, subscribe, and if you have questions or are interested in our courses, please jump on. Keep smiling.